To get there by dawn, the guys will have to hike all night. The paved road ends abruptly. From now on, they'll be walking on old lava flows. This uneven terrain stretches for miles. Okay, we're gonna cross this tumulus, so watch your step. Oh yeah. This is the most common cause of injury out here. People fall in, break their legs, arms, they even get wedged in there and stuck. Okay, we're getting close to the lava flow now. Uh -huh. After trekking for five hours, a glow on the horizon tells them that they've found what they're looking for. With just half an hour till sunrise, they need to quickly prep their equipment if they're to capture their dawn lava shots. Ooh, can feel the heat. Nice and warm, too. You can hear it crackling. It's a steep learning curve for Jimmy. Working next to the 2,000 degrees molten lava is fraught with risk. Both the photographer and his equipment are in danger. Obviously, I've never been this close to molten lava with my camera, but I guess... Uh... You can get as close as you can stand the heat. Right. That's, it's basically like a built-in safety system. 